they're still very sensitive. And um, even after we brought home um, a couple of the kids, one of them, we were back at Kaiser, and one of them wasn't breathing completely right in their car seat as we were bringing, we brought them in to the uh, back to the NICU. And so from that point on, now we all, one of us always sits in the back and and watches all of the kids as we're we're driving everywhere that we go. We were not ready for them them to come home um, because they're going from an environment where they're being looked at 24 hours a day on these hospital grade monitors and the slightest movement or, or just cry for three seconds, somebody goes over to look at and see what's going on. It takes away from like the normal happy come over and hug and kiss a baby thing, but you know it's just they're not the typical babies. And it's not that we're overprotective either. It's like this is from the doctor, and when we look on the internet, this is what needs to happen. And what is it like to have five, actually seven kids at home? <laughs> <laughs> Go. Um. I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> that's, all, that's all that comes to mind. It's just like. Is the bottle ready yet or no? I don't think so. I don't even know what to do with it. It might be too short. Want to put her here? Want to put her here? Awesome. Let me. We can switch because. Like middle nights are rough. We get like two to three hours and that's broken up. Um, because although they're on a four hour schedule, they can eat between three and four hours, but they're on the four, four hour schedule. So if they don't wake up by four hours, we're supposed to wake them up to eat because they're still trying to gain weight and all that kind of stuff. Um, but even if we put them down within a half an hour, there's still one or two that are crying for an hour, hour and a half sometimes. So sometimes we go back, we hold them, rock them a little bit, change a diaper if they have if they need another change. So by the time we actually go to sleep, sometimes it's only an hour and then you hear that on the baby monitor and yeah. that keeps you up and then it's time to get up again. <laughs> it's actually after we get the feeds done at eight, it's pretty mellow here and it's like, all right, now she switches over, cleans the bottles from the day before, 40 bottles from the day before yeah. and starts, the starts to prep the 40 for, for the day. <laughs> the, there's some rough nights. <laughs> there's, there's been probably there's been I think what's it been since I came Saturday night oh. Sunday night Monday night what are we on there on Tuesday so so four nights I think it's two and two <laughs> what we had two good nights oh. of smiling and happiness and then two grumpy nights where Amy started stuff oh really <laughs> we have our disagreements you know whether before the babies and here, I think we have a strong foundation that we're on. And we know the common goal here is we're trying to raise these babies and stay married. <laughs>